Dying Light 2 is pretty well known for having a beautiful range of handcrafted weapons and parkour combos to help you dispose of the undead, but today we're going to see if we can beat the game without using any of them. Instead, we're relying purely on secret easter egg developer items that are hidden throughout the world. Now of course, I do have to say that this video was directly inspired by two awesome YouTubers, Dante Ravioli and Rokum Basco, the two amazing channels that specialize in both Dying Light and Dead Island challenges, as well as other video games too. I'm a really big fan of both of their channels, especially the style of their content, so I recommend that you check them out if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to enjoy their stuff as well. Now for this challenge, we're going to set three simple rules. Number one, no direct attacks unless I'm attacking with a developer easter egg item. Number two, no duplication glitches. And number three, no co-op. Now until I get my first developer item, we're going to have to be pretty restrained in the way we deal with enemies. So first, I think it's only right that I get a bit of zombie mass destruction out of my system. And what better way than with Age of Origins. In Age of Origins, you are the commander of a ruined world. With the help of your troops, you get to expand your city, develop research technology, and fend off waves of the undead. It's a tough job, but you don't have to do it alone. You can team up with other players and achieve the end goal of creating the most powerful city within a doomsday world. You can also recruit the help of titans, including these two, Genshin and Empress, to fight alongside you. And by the way, you should probably meet Lucy. She's an infected individual with the ability to control zombie troops, granting you the power of biochemical zombies, and your treatment and interactions with her will actually determine how powerful she becomes, and the troops themselves are divided into 12 different groups, all with their own special skills. Try the tower defense mode, where you build a line of defense to fend off hordes of zombies with all kinds of weaponry like EMP towers and rocket turrets, or even the giant cannon defense mode to really up the ante. Check out the world map to see your progress and look for worldwide battle events with players from different worlds and different planets. Just be careful to keep an eye out for enemy invasions though, I mean it is doomsday after all. You can download Age of Origins by clicking the link below and using my promo code to get an exclusive gift pack worth $60 to give you a bit of a boost and have you ready to charge into battle. Thank you Age of Origins for sponsoring my video. Alright, at least this part is going to be super easy, right? There aren't any zombies around I actually have to fight, so we can just avoid them, it's a lot easier. But if I really want to, I can just bait them into drowning. But most of the zombies in the prologue don't even drop anything, so it's not even worth the time. Let's just run straight past them. Sneaky sneaky. Oh man, alright, so not only do we have some killing to do, but we've encountered our first boss zombie, the Banshee. And since we don't have any actual developer easter egg weapons yet, we're not allowed to directly attack anyone. So we're going to have to see if we can just bait her into jumping off the cliff. Ah, well, that was pretty easy. Yeah, she did. Uh, but the biters, though, like, the biters, they're, they're slower. It's going to be a bit tricky because they just, they don't jump around like she does. So, uh, hopefully, we can do the same thing. Yeah, it, no, this is, oh, sh <laughs> this is not working that well. Please fall, please fall, please. I'm trying so hard to bait her down, but if I go any lower, I'm going to die. Just fall. Oh, she's a good climber. <laughs> of course she is. Great. Oh, oh, that's the move. Yeah, oh, I'm just gonna charge straight into her. Not attacking, just just giving her a little nudge. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. All right, well, that's the move. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Okay, we did it. That wasn't so bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah, now we've got access to the player stash. Uh, we may as well just go on and chuck the uh, like DLC armor on because we're going to need all the protection we can get. May as well just jump ahead, level 6 armor, and we're good to go. A lot of zombies out here. None of them actually pose a threat, though, so we can just keep running. I am not looking forward to when we actually have to fight volatiles. Okay, now this is the part of the prologue that I'm really worried about. Human combat tutorial uh, requires me to actually kill some people, and there aren't any cliffs nearby. Parrying him three times, not a problem. Actually killing this guy, gonna be a problem, surely. Come on. Come on. Oh god, these screams are awful. Alright, what about this one? Oh, I, I swear he just clipped inside the fire. Come on, just burn a little. Just just catch on fire. Nope. Alright, I'm running pretty low on ideas, so I'm just gonna run away and see if we can just despawn this guy. Nope, he's still there. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a second though. Oh, there we go. That's huge. What do I actually do now? So I've just learned two things. Uh, he can climb this side, but also I can't die. It's a tutorial. Like my health isn't going down. So we just got to keep tanking hits and pushing him down this side and just, just get a little bit of fall damage at a time. I swear this better be fucking killing him. He's bleeding like crazy. Wait, I'm so dumb. This is literally the tutorial on how to parry. Oh my God, that is so much easier. We could have just been doing this the whole time. 
Oh yes, job done. That seemed to work really well. We can definitely do this two more times. Easy. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Three vault kicks. You know what? I'm gonna say this doesn't count because these guys have unlimited health until I do those three kicks. It's like I'm not even damaging them. Ah, see? They look pretty hurt, but health bars are full. You gonna fight or just dance around? Honestly, that's a fair question. Oh, that's the last guy. Thank God. Actually, that wasn't even difficult. I thought that was going to take hours, but it only took 20 minutes. Honestly, that's just the biggest relief. The, I knew this was going to be like the big obstacle going into this. I'm just so glad we can move past this. Cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes. Scary bad guy. Oh no, they're going to hang me. Welcome to paradise. Run, boy, run. Oh, this is where we have to protect Hakon from virals. Wait, what? Did you see that? No? Alright, okay, alright. Follow me, follow me. Never mind. Surely this has to work. The old cat and mouse. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, there's two of them. Help! Never mind, that was easy. That is a nice beard. That is one of the nicest beards I've seen in any video game. Sneaky sneaky. Run boy run, that's the end of the prologue. Run boy run, I can finally go do some shit. Finally, the open world. Alright, it's time to play some soccer. There it is, baby, there it is. The Shocker, our first developer weapon. All right, here's the rundown. This is a two-handed katana that pretty much just already has some elemental effects modded into it, like a chain lightning effect that does AOE damage. It is really good damage for a low level, like early game weapon. But here's the thing. There is only one of this weapon. There's no blueprint that allows me to craft more, and the weapon only spawns once. And to make it even worse, Dying Light 2 doesn't even have a proper repair system. Long story short, once this weapon breaks, we are screwed. I'm gonna have to just really do my best to preserve this weapon, not use it much, and just conserve that durability, and just really make the most of it. Oh, fuck. Oh, that, that's not good. <sighs> Shit. So I was actually having a pretty good run, just using the parry strat over and over again, not even using the actual weapon, just knocking enemies off ledges by parrying them with the shocker, but that just wasn't an option with this quest. I honestly thought I was like really smart by targeting one enemy and then letting the chain lightning effect just take care of everyone else, but we still ended up losing a lot of durability just from that one fight, that one quest. And this is a pretty big deal because this is the only developer weapon that we're going to be getting for the first half of the game. So it looks like we're just going to go back to parrying. Kiwi from the future here. Uh, at this point, I took a break from the run because I didn't want to just keep damaging the weapon and just keep parrying. And then when I was taking a break, I remembered, of course, I made an episode of Dying Light Myth busters that involved ground pounding and it was confirmed that if you ground pound it doesn't drain the weapon's durability. So I spent a bit of time just collecting GRE inhibitors and just trying to unlock ground pound as soon as possible. Oh we got it thank god. Okay it's a ground pound time. Dude I swear if they've patched this. Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh thank god. Okay we can do this. New strategy, new meta boys. Ground pound time. You're gonna be seeing nothing but ground pounds for the rest of this run. Yeah, I don't really feel like ground pounding in here. It's just so much easier not to fight. Luckily, this is a pretty easy decision. We're gonna go with the survivors to get the parkour upgrades because we can't actually use anything that the peacekeepers would give us. I I'm helping you guys. I'm with the survivors. Ground pounding in here is really not working. I swear to God, why is it always Barney that's making me drain my durability? Just another reason to hate this guy. All right, fine, I'll team up with you. If you stop whining like a little bitch, please, I'm not fighting two goons. Wait, they're actually damaging each other. That's so cool. I never knew goons could kill other goons. This is actually a super big brain move. Yeah, duke it out, boys. I tell you what, the winner gets to live. Three goons? Oh, a new challenger approaches. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. 
fucking hell. No way. The goon just got a double. Nah, all right. Nah, mate, you're good. I'm leaving you alone. You win, buddy. You <laughs> that hands down, that has to be the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in this game. All right, guys, I got the explosives, but you will not believe what happened. Sneaky, sneaky. Bomb planted. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. Oh, <laughs> you made a big mistake. Two hits? Oh, you done fucked up. This weapon, when you get that chain lightning hit, this weapon is so good. All right, we don't actually have to fight for this mission. We just have to run after Luan, so let's just skip ahead. Just what I needed. Well, uh, I was going to talk about how we're facing a new enemy uh, and we don't know how to deal with them, but that <laughs> that was easy. All right, this is a super important part. I've been waiting for this moment. This is where you first transform and you go like into rage mode and you have to kill these guys with your bare hands. And obviously we're not allowed to do that, so I'm just going to see if I can run away. Did I fail? Oh, sweet. It's just a timed event. We just have to run out the clock and we're good. I know that our objective here is to get to Walt, so I'm pretty sure we can just skip these renegades as well. Just keep running. Yeah, sure enough. Run, boy, run. He's a crazy scientist. Isn't it crazy that like I did all of this on my own, jumping all these obstacles, Luan just closing the door in my face over and over again, and then she helps me up a ladder? Like... It's just a ladder. Now I finally understand what Nelly Furtado was singing about all those years ago. PK morons, we'll be taking that electricity. Thank you very much. Looking good, boys. You're doing great out there. Ah, oh, shit. Good stuff. Woo! Teamwork. Who taught you how to fight like that? <laughs> uh, well, it all started when I had to fight three goons. Hey, nice to meet you, Frank. Ah, uh, he's a drinker. What a shame. Hey, bottoms up, boys! Oh, hey, it's a demolisher. Just realized we haven't seen any of those yet in this playthrough. Well, buddy, it looks like you got demolished. Oh, hey, it's another demolisher already. Oh. Looks like I got demolished <laughs> looks like you're a little bitch <laughs> yeah yeah I got a zombie on me and you can't harm me who do you voodoo moron you know what I should have unlocked this ability so much earlier Oh, that's so much easier. Now I don't have to, like, find things to climb on. All right, it's time for what is unequivocally the best mission in the entire game. Let's take this VNC tower, boys. We're going in guns a blazing, loud and proud. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, fuck, sneaky, sneaky. I'm the bomb man about to blow up. All right, so this is the second time that Aiden is transforming. Just like last time, we're going to see if we can wait it out. Oh, they can't even damage me. They got cool pants, though. Oh. Hello? Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. We can just keep skipping these. Nice. Okay, we got to the top of the VNC tower. We gave control to Frank. At this point, you probably forgot that what we're doing is a developer weapons playthrough because I've only used one developer weapon. But now we've got the tower, we can access all these other ones. And we can finally just stop ground pounding. And the first one's right over here on this roof. Oh yeah, the Cyber Hands. Honestly, probably not even as good as the Shocker. It deals electricity damage, but only to one enemy at a time. At least I think it does. But you know, it, it, we, at least we've got options and we don't have to rely on the durability of one weapon anymore and more importantly we can craft this weapon over and over again but we're just getting started the Korak charm the absolute game changer this would have been so useful earlier so what this item does is it repairs your weapon it's the only way to properly repair your weapon in the game as much as I would prefer to just be able to repair my weapons I'm not complaining at this point I'm so happy we've got this and we also picked up the left hand of Glover this shit is a lot of fun to use but it has very limited ammo so we're gonna save it for some boss fights. Did someone say Doom? I just realized how difficult this Doom Easter egg is gonna be without killing anyone. All right, that, that wasn't so bad. We, we got the two blueprints. 
We might have died a couple times, that's fine. We got Dying Force, which is essentially the Force from Star Wars. It chokes your enemies. I don't think it really deals a lot of damage, but it's good for incapacitating them. And we also got the Mistress Sword that doesn't deal any damage. Don't know why I picked it up. It's not really going to be useful, but hey, it's there. Now it's probably a good time to mention that if you want to get these yourself, I have a full guide that shows you how. Oh, look at that. That is so satisfying to use. Hey, I'll tell you what, the Mistress Sword does have its uses. It doesn't have any durability since it doesn't do any damage, so I can use it as much as I want, and I can knock people off buildings a lot easier. All right, here we go again. Oh, it is so nice having different options now. I'll tell you what though, this Mistress Sword is really growing on me. Wait, what? Ah, oh, it's another one of these. Alright. Uh, guys? I've been running around for a couple minutes now, and uh, nothing's happening. I don't think we can just skip this one. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a way to kill these guys. Uh, there's no cliff, there's no ledge that I can push them off. I've been looking for that. Uh, we do have spikes on the wall, though. Ooh, okay, so one thing I've noticed is that uh, they'll sometimes knock each other out of the way when they're doing their charge attacks, so if I can just position them next to the spikes, they might knock each other into the spikes. Kinda like how I got the goons to take care of each other. Oh, let's go! We've just gotta keep doing that. By the way, I have tried parrying them into the spikes. It doesn't work for some reason. There we go! I don't even know what happened there. Yeah, oh, thank God. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's great. That was two in a minute. That was two in less than 60 seconds. But I just realized, what am I going to do when there's only one person left? Okay, so another thing I've noticed is that when they're bunched together and I vault on one of the enemies, the enemy that I'm not vaulting on just gets knocked back. So we could do that next to the spikes. Oh, let's go. We've got a new strat, new meta. Oh, thank God. God. I'm not gonna lie guys, you are not gonna see all of this. I've been in this room for at least an hour. I thought that was the end of the run. I it got to a point where I didn't think we could actually progress. I also just realized I could have been doing the vault strat the whole time. Oh well, you live and you learn. God bless. Hack on, I don't think you want this. Yeah, that's right, while you were away, I gained superpowers. <laughs> this guy is just watching me bully the shit out of Hakon right now. That was honestly way too easy. Hakon got obliterated. Oh shit, round two. Alright, it's back on, Hakon. Jesus, uh, this this feels wrong. Okay, bro, there's no way you didn't die from that. I was using wizard magic on you. All right, it's epilogue time. Sneaky, sneaky. Hang on, something's not right. The fuck is this? Is that? Oh, that was close. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, you seem like a trustworthy guy. How do I get to X13? Apparently the way you get to X13 is you run around a bunch and then you pass out and you kind of just wake up there. Oh, don't mind me. I'll uh, let you guys just finish up. Excuse me, excuse me. If I could just get to the... Yeah, excuse me. Ah, fuck it. Okay, all right, this isn't so bad. So we've transformed again, but there are volatiles here this time that could just take care of the... Ah, uh, but how do I take care of the volatiles? All right, so as expected, the volatiles did not have a hard time taking out the renegades, but now I don't know what to do with all these volatiles. All right, I've been going at it for like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Uh, there's not even spikes this time. I... I don't know if this is feasible. There is a platform up here, and if I vault on them, I can make them fall off. I don't know if they're taking fall damage. Uh, it worked in the tutorial with the humans, so I'm assuming the volatiles would take damage too, right? I mean, it's not a big fall, but it counts. Oh shit! 
Oh, it's just like what happened before with the humans. Like, when you vault on someone, the enemies nearby seem to take damage. So I guess we can kill them just by vaulting? Oh, this is gonna work. Yeah, just bunch them up. Oh, he's dead. It, yeah, this works. Oh, let's go. So I guess when you're in the transformed mode, you actually deal a little bit of damage when you're vaulting. But it's still, it doesn't count. We're still sticking to the challenge. Vaulting is not an attack. It's a parkour move. It's not an attack. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, shit. Oh, that wasn't so sneaky. And we made it. We made it to the final boss fight. That's what we've been working towards, boys. This is what all the training's been leading up to. I have been blessed with Easter egg power, and I shall use it. It's not even that we fell off the top, that's fine. But we're in the transformed mode again, which means we can't attack again. I've been trying a few different things, trying to push them off the edge, parry, all that stuff. None of it's working. I think we just have to go back to vaulting. Yeah, you can see right there, occasionally, it's like every few vaults, you can see a little bit of damage taken away from his health bar. This isn't even going to take long. This is working really well. We got him. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh man, of course there's another phase. I forgot just how annoying this fight is, man. This is what, phase five? Now we've actually got to be careful. Waltz can actually kill us. The other enemies couldn't damage us before when we transform, but Waltz can- Right, but at least my health does regenerate to this point. So as long as we don't get comboed, we should be fine. Guys, I'm trying the vaulting method. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, no, it works. He just has so much health this time. Oh, let's go! I didn't even get him down to zero health! Holy shit, it only took like four stand-up specials to get through. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it! We did it! I can now officially confirm that yes, you can beat Dying Light 2 with only the developer Easter Egg items. Although I think I got so caught up in answering the question, if you could, that I didn't even consider if you should, and you really shouldn't, but it is possible. There you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out once again to Dante Ravioli and Rocco Basco for inspiring me to do this, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day.